Hi, welcome to Thunder Show and the most insane moments of the past week. Today we'd like to talk about Rush. Sometimes it pays off pretty well to be hasty, like when you're capturing points. But sometimes it's, well, not as helpful. Let's get started. Desert. Night. The place is all pitch black over endless sands. The battle has just begun. And right Nasok is already leading their trusty cobra towards the enemy positions, almost hugging the dunes. The enemy hasn't even settled on a plan for this fight when the eager heli pilot takes one, no, all three top tier anti-air vehicles. To hold up a minute, each of those had a BR no less than three points higher than the Cobra. Now here's where it gets even better. Morale 2014 is in such a rush to clear the skies of enemy choppers that they don't even try to pick a machine suitable for the helicopter era. You know what? The German rank one Stuka is just the thing. It succeeds in knocking out a chopper, actually, even two. When a bomber wants to drop at least a single load onto the vessels below, it simply has to rush, since the anti-air fire is so thick the air has more lead than oxygen. Fortunately, Archangel 237 only needs a single chance. The bomb they toss takes out no less than three ships at once. The enemy Phantom wants to get to Gordo Planero so badly, they fly right into the bombs dropped onto the base in front of them. It's getting funny, guys. This player was in such a rush they saved some time for the enemy team. Wait, what's this? Another chaser behind, another base ahead. I'm getting a strong feeling of some deja vu here. Way too strong. It can't be right. Oh, come on, I'm at a loss for words here. And here's a story about a rush that happened on the enemy side and to almost the entire team to boot. Flame Drops is a real ninja here with their tiny Vizel. They carefully hide and cover, change their position on time, and stay patient for a chance to deliver a major blow. But the enemies are in such a rush to the front line that some of them continue driving even after the Vizel one shot two of their allies. Let's hope they'd been rushing to the hangar screen anyway. And now, let's visit live War Thunder. Since we started this episode with the Pantsirs, let's wrap up with them, although not in the sights this time. Here's a very neat and atmospheric desert camo. If you get this for your own machine, remember to check the nearby dunes. What if another cobra jumps you? One more thing. A player told us in a comment under one of the last episodes that they'd spent 23 hours in War Thunder over the course of two days. We appreciate that you like the game, but please make sure you rest. Don't forget to hydrate, eat a proper meal, and then, fully rested, come back when you like. We're sure you'll enjoy the game more and have more epic moments worthy of Thunder Show. Bye. <laughs>